Welcome to Indian Movie Recap. Today we are going to see a 2015 Tamil comedy drama movie named Kaka Mutai. In a tiny concrete and tin Chennai home in the slums live two young brothers with their mother and grandmother. With the boy's father in prison for unknown reasons and with an aging mother-in-law, the mother does her best to keep the kitchen fires burning. The brothers spend their time playing games and stealing and devouring eggs from crows' nests. Their love for these eggs leads them to start calling themselves Priya Kaka Matai, Big Crow Egg, and Chinna Kaka Matai, Small Crow Egg. The young boys constantly beg their mother and grandmother for toys they cannot afford and later for a television. They don't yet understand that the two women can't give them everything they want. When their mother and grandmother finally do bring home a television, a gift from the government to ration card holders who live below the poverty line, it's like the opening of a portal. The boys see a pizza commercial on TV who's steaming. Slow motion images make the unfamiliar food look like manna from heaven. Meanwhile, a brand new pizzeria comes up in the neighborhood and a famous actor comes to its opening. Remembering the looks of enjoyment on actors' face when he tasted a pizza at the pizzeria, the boys thereafter think of nothing else but getting their first taste of a pizza. The brothers go to the railway tracks each morning to collect the charcoal that falls off goods trains. They sell the charcoal at a scrap metal shop and are paid for their trouble. They usually hand the money over to their mother, who is saving up to pay their lawyer to get her husband out of jail. But once the boys become aware of the cost of a pizza, they begin saving the money for themselves instead, lying to their mother that they have not collected any charcoal since they were playing out. The boys succeed in saving the rupee 300 required to buy a pizza, but are shooed away by the watchmen of the pizza shop since they are badly dressed, which reflects the fact that they are local slum dwellers. The boys narrate this story to their friend Palarusam who works as a lineman with the railways. He tells them that people place a lot of importance on clothes and advises them to save up and purchase new dresses before approaching the pizza outlet again. The boys go on to work again to save money for buying new clothes at Chennai city center. In the meantime, they show their grandmother the pamphlet from the pizza shop. She tries to make them a home-cooked pizza using dosa batter as base. But the boys deride her attempts and insult her. After finally saving up enough money for new dresses when the boys see city center, they realize that it is another big mall which would definitely not allow them inside. But they somehow manage to acquire a newly bought pair of clothes from a couple of rich children by buying them pani puri from a street vendor, much against the wishes of the rich boy's father, who had denied them the treat as he considered it unhygienic. The happy brothers return to the pizza shop in their new dresses. Another group of slum boys who are envious and skeptical about the brothers' story about going to eat pizza follow them to take a video of what transpires with the brothers at the pizza shop. The brothers are once again confronted by the watchman and he now forces them to go home right away, but the boys protest by saying that they have money and are wearing new clothes. This argument attracts the attention of the pizzeria supervisor who comes out and slaps the older brother. This is caught on video by the other slum kids who laugh at the brother's humiliation. The sad and disappointed brothers return to their slum only to be further overwhelmed by the miserable sight of their dead grandmother. The brothers feel guilty when they remember insulting their grandmother some time before.
When two men in the slum happen to watch the video of the boy being slapped, they try to make money by threatening the owner of the pizza shop to release the video to the media. The owner realizes he could be imprisoned and his pizzeria sealed by the government due to his supervisor's act of discrimination and violence against slum children. He offers one of the men a hundred thousand rupees for not making the video public. The man agrees, but his associate releases it to the media, hoping to make some money, unaware of the huge sum being offered. This stirs up tension amongst the pizzeria's owners, who finally decide to publicly apologize to the slum kids. The boys are welcomed to the pizza spot in a red carpet, reminiscent of Simbu being welcomed in the opening ceremony of the pizzeria. The owner also promises them free pizzas for life. Even as the brothers begin to finally enjoy their first pizza, they tell each other that the dosa pizza which their grandmother had earlier made for them had tasted much better. Thanks for watching. Do like share, subscribe for more videos.